in this part five of the Perchi PM Gun chart, we have a target date, November 11, 2021. We'll base our Gun chart on the target date. So we begin with the ID sequence count A of the task. And the predecessor column will be data validation over the ID range. And let's say we have a maximum of five men per task. So data validation, list of items, one, two, three, four, five. Just five, maximum of five men per task. And there are three shifts in a day. So data validation, list of items. There's a maximum of three ships per task. So you can assign maximum of three ships and maximum of five men. It's, we continue with the start date, which is equal to ifs, if the predecessor is empty, then it's empty. If the predecessor is equal to if predecessor equals the ID, then the task has no predecessor, it precedes itself. If the predecessor is greater than zero, then index index the predecessor over the end range. So this is the end range. We will fill up the entire end range column and we lock the first row. And hit enter. This is our formula for the start date. We continue with the duration. So our formula, the number of man hours divided by eight times the number of ships times the number of men and we write a condition that if if the number of manoirs is empty then it's empty otherwise calculate let's say we have one man per shift and one shift per day that's our default so we have our values next the end date which is our formula the start plus the duration start plus the duration enter so if this is zero, if this is zero, then empty otherwise calculate. Next the timeline, which is if if this is empty, then it's empty. So if it is empty, then it's empty. Otherwise, spark line. Spark line of what? The first, the start day and the duration. Curly bracket, the chart type will be bar. And the color one will be white. And finally, the maximum will be the maximum. The maximum of the end date. We'll close this, we'll fill the entire column and lock the reference. Close in the curly bracket. 
and complete the formula. So we fill this up, complete this formula here, and complete this formula downwards. Predecessor of task one is itself, so there's no predecessor. Task two follows task one. Task three follows task two. This is not updating, so we just drag it. It's not updating again, we'll just drag this. Now we continue with the end date and the start date of each task. This is equal to our formula. Task end date minus the maximum of the start date. Plus the target date. We want to clean this, so we have a condition if the condition will be if J3 to J10 is empty. If that's empty, then it's empty, otherwise calculate. Now it's cleaned. We continue with the start date of each task, which is equal to our formula. The start date minus the duration. And enter. So we have to clean this. So another condition. If if this is empty, this is empty. So if this is empty, then it's empty. Otherwise, calculate. Now it's clean. And finally, the starting date which is our formula or minimum the minimum of the start date so our starting day is june 14 2021 suppose i would like to add three more tasks so i'd like to add three more tasks and assign maybe 600 man hours for this, 300 man hours for this, 200 man hours for this. So, and we'll drag this as our default. As our default. And we'll drag this. And we'll drag this as well. Let's say task four follows task three. And task five follows task four. And task six follows task five. Update. And update this. So our end date is still November 11. This time our starting date will be January 27, 2021. Let's say I'd like to add some more. I'd like to add more tasks. So this will be, I'd like to add three, three more tasks. This will be 400, this will be 500, 
and this will be 300. Again, uh, our man hours will be one man per shift per task and one shift per day. So we'll drag this downwards. And we'll drag this downwards. Task 7 follows task 6. Task 8 follows task 7. And task 9 follows task 8. So we'll update this. And this. So start date is August 30, 2020. That's already long gone. I want to, let's look for tasks that can start on the first day. No predecessor. So let's say task 5 can start immediately. So we'll have task 5 preceding itself. And we'll update this. And we'll update this. Now we can start March 31, 2021. Let's say I'd like to shorten this. So I'll, uh, I'll have maybe three men. So update. And this one to update. So again, the starting will be April 12, 2021. Let's say I'd like to have two shifts on task one. And two shifts on task seven. So just update this. And this. Our starting day now is May 13, 2021. I would like to have two shifts for task six and two men per shift. That's task six. So update. And update this one. Suppose I want task four, task four to follow task seven. So I want this to be to follow task seven here, right here. So task four should follow task seven. Then update. And update this. I want task seven or task eight to follow task one. I want this to follow task one. So task eight follows task one. Date and update. Our starting now is July 15, 2021. So this completes the use of maximum, minimum, array formula, sparkline and the data validation to complete a participant gun chart with a target